Okay, so hi everybody, so this is the next episode, well actually the first episode in the Digimon series. So for, this is Digimon Heroes for the phone. Um, it's an oldish game, it's about, I think it was out before Christmas last year, but I don't see many people playing it, so I thought I'd give it an overview or a look through. Um, I don't know if it'll be a series or not, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so I've played it for, I'd say about a week, um, just kind of casually like when I had when I was waiting for something um, and it's quite interesting there's a lot to do in the game um, it's very I, I like it quite a lot for playing it when you have nothing to do I don't know if I would call it a very serious game it's kind of reminds me of those old Facebook games and it works off the same system as those games and it is actually on Facebook too you can link it to your Facebook again um, okay so Let's just pick a random thing. So what happened here now was I went into the main um, area. So these are like the stages you can do. So I'm on like stage five, level thirty of, but the levels go through all the stages. So okay. So you go in, you do your rounds. This is seven rounds. Yeah. This is my current team. So I have Taumon, I think, Beelzebub Mon, uh, like Mega. Her Hercule Cavaterian Mon, um, Angel Mon, and um, Skull, Skull Baluchi Mon. Okay? Um, and these are like in teams. So you can see here they're all different colors. So, what I'm going to go in for at the moment is make sure they're all different colors because I want to have damage of all the different types because the different types counter different things. So, if we go in here, we go to fight, I suppose. And you get to pick one extra, like, Digimon to help you throughout the clear. So, I don't know if I want more damage. We'll try this Digimon. I haven't tried this one yet. It's hard to, it's very difficult to make out some Digimon from their little pictures. It's much easier to see them when you see the big card. Um, so, alright, so we're against a uh, Metal Gururumon and a... Can't see what that is. It's like a, a mega bug Pokemon. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so let's go with this. So he, the basic way you play this game is these little circles here tell you what counters each other. So red counters, green counters, blue, and then yellow and purple are on their own side. So these two counter each other always. Um, so whatever they have, which is up here, that's basically how you counter them. Um, so. We're going, so we really want a blue counter, and how you fight against them is you need to match three. So we don't have three blues, and you can use the next card, so when we click on cards, the next two will come down, and use them up. Um, so we don't have blue, so we're just going to go with purple for this run. And then what will happen is it'll look for if the any cards here match with the next card, and it creates like a chain, and that's how you deal damage. The bigger your chain, the more damage you're going to deal, basically. Um, so let's just do this. This one is to heal, this kind of brown one. And um, that's pretty much that. So I'm just showing you a basic playthrough of one level for the first episode. Um, if anybody watched Digimon, you know that Digimon in the second season, I think? No, it was probably the third season. Either the third or second season, they um, like absorbed other Digimon in order to digivolve. Um, I think it was the third. Third is Renamon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Terriermon. Um, so it was that season. Um, so that's kind of what it works off the same kind of system as that. Um, so that means that so we have purple coming up, so we can't go red or something. Red counter is green, anyways. If you use these kind of ones that have all the different symbols on them, they can be combined with any other card, basically. And they give it a critical effect. If you get three of them, it will make everyone attack. Um, when a character lights up here, you get a special effect that they have. So you need to read them beforehand to decide who's best for your team. So his effect is um, he guarantees only attack cards come next, and he gives a boost up to up to everyone. Okay? on your team. Um, so let's go to this. That's Angel Woman's Digi Evolution there. So it is Holy Dramon or something, I think it's called. Um, uh, 
And because this is on such a small screen, it's quite difficult to read names when you're doing it. Because I'm kind of using my computer screen to play this game, so I can record it for you. Um, so I, I'm sorry if I can't see the names. <laughs> okay, so let's go with this guy. Let's see what his special effect is. So he changes. He lines up four red cards in the next four he, and four heal cards and four critical cards so that we know then that there's four critical cards coming soon. Um, who were we attacking? We're probably attacking her so it would be better off to get a purple chain but we won't now because we have loads of red cards. Gee, maybe. Okay. This guy's special effect is he deals damage and heals you. And then I'm going to show you like the big move that I planned in the next round. That I how I get through most battles. So yeah, this game it's it's pretty good. Um, it's more of a casual game. It's not like say Marvel Future Fight, which is another mobile game. Um, that's more of an intense game. It's more about collecting things. Oh, why did I do that? I'm gonna hit this. So when you do uh, ones that don't match, then you don't get a chain because you need to match some in a row in order to get a chain. Okay, he's gone. Okay, that's done. Right. Next round, let's show you an actual good move here. So this is how I sweep characters in this game most of the time. Now they do have a lot of defense here because they're quite high levels. They're all mega level Digimon, so we might only knock out one or two of them. So what I do is that into that. So what happens to him is he makes all cards max level cards in Kirby Terrymon does. And then builds well, bumps them up one level, which makes them all these critical cards. So if you combine three of them together, you get a wild attack. And then you get a load of chains because they can combine with any other card. There you go. You can see that. So it deals a lot of damage. There you go. Clean swipe of a root. So it takes a certain amount of turns for these guys to build up their um, to build up their power. Um, so we kind of have to work around that. So try and save that definitely for the boss fight. But because there's so many rounds in this one, we'll know we'll have it back by then. So that's why I use it up. Uh, we don't want to go that. We want to go. So he's got purple. No, the can't purple. Will blue. It's just if you have the counter directly to them. So if we had any yellow, or even two yellows and a critical there, it would have been better to use yellow. And that's kind of just like the gameplay of this is very simple. It's quite like it would be good for kids and stuff. Um, it's not complex to get into, and that's the way it's good as a casual game because you don't really have to concentrate while you do it. All you have to do is find the tree that match, basically, and you'll probably clear most of the levels as long as your Digimon are strong enough. Um, but the kind of outside of gameplay mechanics of this game are quite interesting. They're probably more interesting than the actual gameplay. Um, the actual gameplay is just matching cards, if you <laughs> want to know about that. But yeah, uh, Digimon's pretty thing. Like I grew up watching it and stuff. Like, so it's pretty good. And uh, if anybody's watching the new series Digimon Adventure, try it's it's a continuation of the original Digi Digimon Adventures. So there was Digimon Adventures one and two, which were the um, original Digimon series, and that's out now at the moment. I think. Well, I watched. It is out, but we're waiting on the next round of episodes. Um, so basically, they're kind of releasing them in batches. So first, 4 plus 4 plus 5, whatever that is. 14? No. 4 plus 4 is like 13 episodes. They're out. So we're waiting on the next 5 episodes of that. And they're pretty good. They're not as good as the originals, though, I think. There's two, um... Like, some cool Digimon in it, but... I think... After... Um... 
after the first couple of seasons of Digimon, it kind of went downhill a bit. Like, the, up to the third season was... First season was the best. Second season was really good as well. Um, sorry, not second season, but second season of... Um, how do I explain? Yeah, Digimon Adventure 2 was good. Then Digimon Tamers was good. The next one, Digimon Frontier, I think, was the next one. That wasn't that good. Um, that was where they had everyone combining with Digimon and stuff. And then they had... And they try to go backwards into more like a Digimon episode. Um, it was okay, that one. Then the cross one was pretty good. Except it was, like, way too overpowered, the main character in it. Um, and then... Then we're back to Digimon Try. There is a new Digimon, which is, like, App... app. Digimon, so I think they're called Atmon, um, and that series is okay looking. I've watched a bit of it, I kind of got bored, because it's kind of, there's not too much interesting stuff starting in the early episodes. Um, so if anybody else is watching that, let me know what you think of it, this level is taking so long. Like I said, the actual gameplay of this is kind of boring, so let's clear this fast. We have all our special abilities here. So we should be able to clear the boss really fast. So let's do the boss. Um, so for the boss, we have Black Metal Garurumon. And we will go with this. So this is like an easy sweet move. So if you ever get these two guys, or even her basically Herculean Kabuterimon is the main one, and then any Digimon that can raise the level of cards by one, will give you the same effect. Um, it's just Beelzebub moments quite strong. So at the end of every level you get these. These are like rewards. You need these like capacitors in order to digivolve. And you get them at different stages. So medium stage will usually get you to the champion level of Digimon. Or no, it'll get you to the ultimate level of Digimon. Um, so ultimate is uh, Greymon into War Grain. No, Greymon into Metal Grain. Uh, so that's that. Um, so I'll just go in here and show you some of the other mechanics of this game. So basically the way you get Digimon is you actually hatch these eggs. Now you can collect these eggs in the level. We didn't get any there, but I should have enough for one. Or I might have a ticket or something. Alright, I have friend points. Friend points you get by completing levels, basically. Or adding friends. Alright, so we got a Runa Pope. That's absolutely useless. This is this can be a Digimon, it can be XP, and it can be Ruins. Okay, so Runa Hope is quite a low level Digi card. Um, there's this thing called the Training Zone where you put Digimon in and you train them up. So you have to press level up though, so they take a little while to get to the next level, and then you press level up. And we will go to our Digimon, which is an upgrade. That's how I usually get to it. So, in Upgrade, um, you can see all your Digimon here, okay? Um, any with this, like, little lock and the arrow here, they're in the training center, so you can't do anything to them. Uh, the lock stays applied to them after you do the training on them. That is because they don't want you to swap them out by accident. He's still in the training zone, okay. Like that, so they let you know um, that that was one that you already put time into, basically. Um, and then there's a few different races. So you have the dragon race, which are the red ones. Then you have the knight race, which are the blue ones. Then you have the nature race, which are the greens. Then you have the holy race, which are the yellows. And then you have the dark race, which are the purples. And all of them do different effects to each other and stuff like that. Um, but a thing about these is we can digivolve like in the regular Digimon series. So first of all, in order to digivolve, you need to max their level out. So this guy here is maxed out at level 10. And you have to have a lot of materials then to get the actual Digimon. So you usually have to trade in Digimon. So we need two level 10 reds and these red things to digivolve him. But if we go down here, we probably have enough to evolve Hawkmon. So we have Aquilamon and Thunderbirdmon. 
So we'll try to turn the bird one. I don't know if we have enough for him though. No, we don't. We need the uh, other ones. Don't have enough of those either. Somebody's bound to have enough. Take the lock off of you. Did you all of you? Need greens for him. Need megas for him. Oh yeah yeah. Lady Devimon, maybe? Digivolve. You're not high enough level. Alright, maybe there ain't no Digivolving happening today. High level, higher level. So you can see here, that if you don't have the right capacitors, you can't do anything. Um, done too many Digivolves. Like, earlier today I did Angemon into Holy Angemon. And stuff, but... You ready yet? Right, yeah, we can Digivolve him if we have the right Digimon. So here we go. So we have your two lower level, but that's okay. We can do something to fix that. We use him. Yeah, screw. We use him. Okay, so this is Devimon. Digivolving, and we're using 10 of these, he's max level, and we're using all these Digimon, and it's going to cost this amount of bytes, which are the currency that you work up, basically. And this is what Digi-Evolution looks like. There you go, so now we've Neo Digimon. He's only a level 3, he's rare. Um, he inflicts the amount of damage, uh, a small amount of damage, and restores the same amount of HP. Only attack cards will appear in the next. So his leader skill only applies if he's a leader or if he's an ally, um, because they automatically get their leader skill. And then the other skill applies when regardless. Um, so if they're a leader or not. Okay. So now we have him. Um, and he's actually not that good. This this guy has the same effect, but he does a large amount of damage. So rather than a small amount of damage, he does large. So that's better. And if we check him, he probably has another Devi Digi Evolutions Neo. He has Neo Vam De Demon, Demon, which we already have. But I actually use them in another Digimon. Um, I actually used it to power up one of my Lady Devimons in order to digivolve him. So. Now we have all of his chain, and if we go back out here and go to collection, this is probably the easiest place to see what Digimon you have. Um, the higher up they go, usually is the rarity, but you can change that here. So these ones up high are very rare cards. Down here, less rare. Oh, went out. That's rare. So these are all our red ones. We have a couple of ruins um, and stuff. And then if we go over to the other types, we can see we have other ones in the other types. We don't have any really, really rare cards. Like the rarest in this that we have is um, Angel One. That's the rarest. So let's see who the rarest overall is. We should be able to see none of you. I'm pretty sure it's probably green. Yeah, it is. Circling Cabotary. He's our rarest one. He is very close to the top of them. And do we have any rare blues? Maybe Beelzebub might beat him. No, but he's very close. He, Herculean is about here. Um, okay, so that's that you can click in this to see them now the only thing I would say is they don't actually have the full art you can't see it again or at least I haven't figured out the way to see the full art again because the full arts are pretty cool but these little pictures are not cool <laughs> uh, so level up this again I'm more leveling up Digimon in here in order to use as material for Digimon okay so that's that episode that was the first episode of um, Digimon heroes so let me know in the comments if you want to see more i might do a few more episodes just for this weekend but if you say you like it enough in the comments i will do a series of this and play the rest of the game through and also every day make sure you get this thing it's a free ticket you just have to watch an ad okay i'll see you next one guys good luck